Hello, I'm Oddball, and welcome to the Media Dimension. Well, nothing too interesting has happened since last time. I heard you wanted to see me? Oh, um, yes, I wanted to apologize for yelling a bit way back. Oh, I thought it had something to do with the fireworks display last time. No, and actually, that might have been more of my fault, actually. Well, don't worry, we've got this all figured out. Now, Topman, is this the short fuse or the long fuse? Um, I think that's the long fuse. I've got a bad feeling about this. Well, what can possibly go wrong? Uh, nothing. I need to get back to my game. Okay, let's look into the next portion of the Haunted Mansion. And away we go. I should really think about stopping and starting the game up a couple times so you get a different picture, but honestly, I don't care. Let's go this way. And ah! Spooky girl! Die! Banshee! Oh my god, it takes forever to kill them. And best of all, I'm going the wrong direction. I actually meant to go this way. Ugh. Okay. Die! I... I hate them so much. There's normally something else around here. There we are. Tons of spiders. Let's just run. Or we nuke them all. I actually love this new charge shot I just got. Or didn't get, because... I can't even remember what episode we're in. So, yep, that's the Banshees and the spiders. That room is a lot later. At least the mice aren't enemies. Okay, at least this room should be... Oh, this is going to be fun. The Graveyard. Well, actually, the Graveyard is, I believe, one of the more cinematic scenes in the Haunted Mansion. The, the ride, not the movie. The movie, I think they just ran right through it. I don't think there's much cinematic in the movie. Ah! Ghosts! These damn ghosts again! Die! I hate these things! Oh god! Keep running back! 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 Oh god, I can't go any further! Ah! Surprised it didn't kill me. Okay, here we go. Into the hey. graveyard. Hey, I'm talking here. Uh -huh. Look, I need you to find the other three members of my quartet. When you find them, be sure and wake them up for me. And stay away from the wannabes. They'll just mess everything up. Okay, so you got your mission. Find the four singing busts. Well, the three singing busts. And then this freaking skeleton jumps out of the ground. With sideburns somehow. He actually kind of looks like if, uh, Dr. Wily died and was calcified. The, the game, Dr. Wily, not the idiot we got here. Okay, we have to go handle this thing. It'd only be rude, he knows my name. Ow, and hit with a finger bone in the first set shot. Okay, so they have shields, which are annoying, but can be circumvented with your supercharged shot. They throw a three-fired shot of bones, which can easily be jumped over. All in all, they're not that terrible. But that's an imposter. No, that's the wrong guy. You'll have to start over. So, this up here is the hard part, because there's three of them, and you don't know which one. So, obviously start with this. There... I don't think there actually is a difference to what they are, but there's no physical difference between the uh, statues. And I'm back at the beginning, but uh, they don't move, so they don't shuffle at all, so you shouldn't 
really have a hard time picking out the imposter. The, the real ones. Okay, now where's the second set? Oh yeah, another helpful tip, they're all on the pathway. So, keep walking around and you'll find them all. Or not. Yep, some, there's like multiple pathways. Lost in a graveyard. Oh, here we are. Let's pick the right one. 50 50 shot. Don't follow me, Zeke. Blast! Brother Zeke. Shoot, 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 shoot. Brother Zeke. Okay, so it's the two inner ones and this one. Zeke. There we go. Brother Zeke. Brother Zeke. Brother Zeke. Ah! The hell is with that one's face? Two things, the whole recording crap comes back to bite me in the ass again as I just realized where the hell the missing spirit went. Oh wait, got it. I, I actually do like that song, is the other thing. Uh, now, finding the, the uh, spirits in the graveyard is a pain in the ass, because uh, as you'd expect with the graveyard, there's a buttload of tombstones. Well, look for the ones that are breathing, and that's where your ghosts are. <laughs> breathing tombstones. I don't know which is creepier, the fact that there's a graveyard in this game, or the fact that there was a graveyard in Luigi's Mansion. Wait, was there a graveyard in Luigi's Mansion? Yeah, that's where you fought Bogmire. Well, wait till you learn what the building that just rose out from the ground is. Give you a clue. It makes the graveyard seem tame. I am missing things again. This is one of the more popular rooms where you have to leave, or at least I've had to leave. That's a weird tombstone. Um, where I had to leave to get the spirits reset. And there's a skeleton that just popped out of the earth. There he is. So, much like the, uh, Banshees and the Giant Spiders, yeah, these things will be with us for the rest of the game. And like I said, they are quite easily handled. That one bolted off like a damn lightning bolt. if I wanted to, but let's let's finish this room up first. Although the room, the uh, doors will tell you if you're missing spirits in them. Another hint is the fact that uh, you really can't get to the next area anyway without all the spirits. Like, other than I'm trying to think of a good game that did that, um, Thousands of examples, probably, in my head right now. The one I'm coming up with is, like, Gex. You know, you can get to other levels, multiple levels, but you need to beat at least some resemblance of them before you can move on to the next set of levels. Actually, the old 
the Crash Bandicoot games have been better because you only needed to beat specific objectives and Gex. Do I have to play Gex? I've been avoiding that question because that, that, that game is kind of on the line. You know... I, I think I have time. I'm going to press my luck and try the mausoleum this time. How bad can it be, really? Okay, this looks creepy as all hell. Bats! Which aren't enemies in this game, I'm surprised. What the hell am I doing? Well, there's something over here. Candelabras. The bell I hope will call the fight begin. Yeah. Outlast them all to save your skin. Yeah. Let's see, what do we got here? The Foolish Mortal line is actually from um, the actual Haunted Mansion ride. It's what the ghost host normally says. And we have a new enemy! Ginormous freaking gargoyle that fires little skeletons. And is immune to your normal shot. Uh, what the hell? The bell will toll the fight begin at last them all to save your skin. I wonder what that means. And I hope that screech didn't- Ah, it did! Ah! Oh god! Oh no! Why was this thing die? Well, I'm down. I'm gonna have one more shot. And a whole two minutes still on the clock. And now giant spiders have joined the fight. And I'm dead again. So what happens? I guess continue or what? Or I drown in the water and a game over placard comes up and... Yep, we're done. Yep, we're done. You know what? I'm going to try to figure something out and we'll try something later, okay? Alright, so I'm having a bit of trouble with the mausoleum. Which is fitting, they don't even need to move the body, they can just put it right on the slab. So lab. Huh, wonder how the lab is doing. Oh god, Wiley! What? Oh! Don't worry, don't worry, I'm fine! What happened? Did you guys get broken into? No, nothing like that. We were, um, uh, spring cleaning! It's the fall. And you also don't seem to know what cleaning is. <sighs> okay, we were looking for something. <sighs> Nothing important, so just move along. Well, that was suspicious. Why are you hanging around me? Vitreous, Starman, and Tom are together, and Vlad and Wiley are working together. Who else am I supposed to hang out with? Ah, oh, you know, fine, fine. I'm done for the day, though, so I'm tuning out. You can do whatever you want to do. Well then, I am just going to check a few things out then. Shoot! That was, uh, close. We should have jumped on that whole breaking angle. Butane. Butane? Yeah, it's, um... A substitution for the neon oxide. It's not as powerful and might burn a bit too weak, but it's what we're going to have to do. Well, butane's not hard to get. I'll go get some. <sighs> of course. <sighs> when he comes back, I'm going to have found the neon oxide. This guy wasn't that hard for Wendy to make. What am I doing wrong? 